start recording. Good morning. Ooh. It's raining outside. Come on in. Good morning. It's horrible. No, it's not. It's fine. It's just a little bit of rain. Come on in. Good morning. I ran so I won't get wet. <laughs> Everything's wet. <laughs> it's all right. It's all good. It's good. It's a Friday already. Gosh, where did that week go? Good morning, everybody. Come on in. Leave your umbrellas at the uh, at the door. I just want to see Stuart. You're in the building with me. Glad to hear that. And Groovy Shack number 25 is scheduled for the usual 12 lunchtime launch, 12 noon. So that's good to know. That's 25 already that Hazel's done for us. Bless that woman. There you go. So there's a free Groovy download at noon today, Stuart's in charge, and that will be um, number 25. I know. Let me make sure the sound's down. Cool. Sound is good. Thank you, Stuart. Good. Friday, 120 hours today we've done. Wow. I'm actually really glad that we're every other day at the moment, aren't you? It seems to really... Uh, I'm getting a lot more done at work. <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm firing on all four cylinders at the moment. But that doesn't mean that I didn't enjoy coming every day to the Shack Shack, you know. But it's very time consuming, isn't it? Hey, it's like a full time doodler I was getting to be. It's good though. We're certainly improving our game, aren't we? Hey, and so today, come on in, leave your umbrellas at the door. I know it's bad luck to keep them open indoors, but it's okay. Oh, a nice cup of tea. That's why I rushed back to the house. I thought, I don't want to go a whole hour without a brew. <laughs> oh, there's nothing like it. There you go. Oh. I like, I like it. I don't know about you. I like it when it's... Um, a bit murky outside and a bit cold and you're indoors in the warm I think that's nice something cozy about it, isn't it? I remember when we used to live in Aylesbury and we lived in uh, Wingate Walk Wingate Walk 32 Wingate Walk and we when we were little we, we we'd moved to Kent by the time I was 11 but that was when we were nippers to Steve and I and outside the front outside the back door it was there was a, a kind of a there were three doors. There was the kitchen door, then there was the door where mum had our Burko boiler, and then there was the, the shed, the little the little shed. But it was protected. So you'd you step in, you could go one door, two door, three door. But there was this little tiny recess, like where the doors came off, and it was all and I remember loving that. And Steve and I, my brother and I, I used to make camps in there. Like we used to make camps, but we used to tie like an old blanket to the door handles. So mum couldn't get out of the kitchen because <laughs> the door obviously opened inwards because the blanket would be attached to those handles. So she, <laughs> she Baba! <laughs> untie the knot. <laughs> and the more she pulled, the tighter the knot got. <laughs> Don't pull any more, Mum. Those were the days, eh? But what I'm saying is I remember that feeling of coziness. Even though it was rank weather, I remember having that camp with my brother in this little porch. Those were the days. Yeah, you remember the feeling, the, the experience, don't you? Cool. Come on in. Good morning, good morning. I see you there. Yeah, very wet Watford, a wet Watford, a wet Enfield. Good morning, Heidi. Du warst zwei Wochen lang in Deutschland. Heidi was in Germany for two weeks, so now you're back in Surrey. Good to have you back. Be safe. Huh? Be safe. Right. Okay. So, we are 10 o'clock. Welcome to the Shack Shack. Safe, happy and creative. Stay home and craft. And today, we're going to doodle a mandala a little bit more. We can make that one long word, doodle a mandala a little bit more. So, do you remember, on Wednesday we started, didn't we? And, um, you ready to start? Is everyone coming in? Come on. 
It's not a race. We're going to take our time on this one because it's going to be lovely. Let's have a look. Do you remember we were using this, um, this download? Stuart's in the building with you, by the way, before I forget. Lovely Stuart's in the building. And if you need the download of this wheel to make the mandala, do ask Stuart. He'll give you the link. If you haven't got any means of printing out, that's all right, because you can just private email him your address. We'll pop it in the post to you. No problemo. Um, and then... Um, yeah, there was something else about post. Next week, this is before I forget, next week it's um, it's send a card week. Now, like world send a card week. It's not just, it's not clarity send a card week. It's a worldwide event, send a card week. Isn't that cool? And I saw it on Facebook a couple of days ago and I thought, oh, that would be something that we could really get our teeth into, right? So I was thinking, if we, if, let's say, we all made a card and it can be it can be doodled it can be stamped it can be whatever you want it to be i was thinking if we all made a card and then you all send a card a card one card to clarity i'll give you the address um then what we could do is we could box them up and depending on how many we get we could send them to hospices or to yeah to a hospice or two hospices um for them to do with as they wish to sell for charity because obviously we're an angel company so there's not a problem whatever you you use if you use if you're using clarity gear or doodling it's your art um then that's not an issue at all but then we could send the cards you know we'll box them up and we'll send them with a letter of love to a hospice and so um I was going to write down the address. Here it is. Look, I thought if I show you the address. So we've got Clarity Stamp Limited. And then I thought if you put send a card week, then we'll know that the envelope has got to go in the box to the hospice. Right. Unit A, Furcroft Way, Edenbridge, Kent, TN8 6EL. So if you put that on the outer envelope, yeah. So you've, you're going to make a card and put it in an envelope that's blank. Mm, if you've got a poly bag, brilliant. If you haven't got a poly bag, then don't worry about that. We'll poly bag it at our end. We'll take them. So, so what you're going to do is put the card and the blank envelope in the, in the big envelope that says this on it. Right. And then when we get it, if you haven't got a pot by poly bag, I mean a, pla a plastic, it would be a lot easier for the hospice to sell it in a plastic bag, in a little poly bag, than not in a little poly bag. You know what I'm saying? But that's not a problem, because if you haven't got a poly bag, we definitely do have them in all shapes and sizes. So that's not an issue. So then we could do that. And then as far as which hospice goes, um, if you private message me suggestions, I'm all ears. I'm all ears. OK, so that's that would be nice, wouldn't it? So it's something that we could do to give something back. OK, and if you didn't catch that address, I'll give it to you again at the end. But Stuart's on it like a car bonnet. Right, you ready? Let's have a look. Right, you ready? Let's get started. Good morning. Wet West Morling. Oh, West Morling, Helen. Is that where you are? That's not far from here at all. Maidstone, isn't it? West Morling. Mm -hmm. I used to have a lawyer over there. Yeah. Savage he was. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to fight fire with fire. And he's over there in West Morley. Right. So here we go. This is the wheel. And this is where we got to so far. Do you remember? And you were going to make those little lines through there. Wonderful. And then we're going to continue today on our relaxing mandala journey. I got the feeling that you really liked this one. Am I right? Just in case you didn't join us on, um, just in case you didn't join us on Wednesday, the idea is that we're going to create this beautiful mandala, one circle at a time. And then in the middle, the reason we started on the fifth line out on the wheel was so that we're going to be able to create little seasons 
So the idea is that then we're going to put this tree in there, look, like that. But let me get my right glasses on here. That's better. So we're going to make these trees, you see, and they're going to have, and then we can build the pattern around the outside. So we can do one with leaves and one with snow. And so I think that'd be lovely. And then of course it's great for gems as well, isn't it? But the idea is, this is going to be the, this is what we're headed towards. So we've done to there. So now we're going to do these bits, these bits here. So, um, and the, the thought behind my pro, my thinking was that we could then flip over and then transfer to paper, but instead we could do the whole thing. Of course you can. Who says you can't? But what I was thinking, what would look really superb would be this kind of, this partial art where when you turn it over, you only transfer parts of it. I think that would look fantastic. So what we're doing here with this one, this particularly attractive one, Right, which is, I'm just going to pull this out at the moment, right, let's have a look here, right, this one here, this is the one that we're headed towards, that's nice, it's nice, see, so you can see what we've done so far and you can see where we're going now, yeah, okay, so have you done this bit? Now we're going to start on the next bit. So let me just get my eye in. You sharpen your pencil and have a slug of tea while I figure out what we're doing. And then, yes, that's what we're doing. Right, so we're going to go right now. Right, so we've done that. So we're going to go up there to there. But we're going to make a, oh no, do you know what I think would be better? What would be easier? It's just like, what do you do first? I know, we're going to go, we're going to make a dot. I know exactly what we're going to do. It's a reverse process here. Right, every other one, let me show you. Every other one, so above the circle bit, let me show you from the top, and then we'll, we'll come in a bit tidier, tighter. See this one here? What I'm going to do is make a dot there. So in other words... Let me just get this right. There, I'm going to make a circle like that. So to, to, to think it through, right, the idea is that it's going to come down like this. Should I get in really tight so you can see it better? Yes. Because I think if you see what we're going to do, it's a repeat pattern. So let's get the pattern exactly right first because everything wraps around it. That's more like it right now. If you can't see that, let's have a look larger than life. Okay, so what we're going to do, you see, let's get our, get our eye in. And then once we get the pattern down, right? So what we've got here, let's just get it in place. Just excuse my head now. Is my head in the way? Not really, eh? Let's just say that's it now. Right, so we've done this, right, and we've done that, and we've done these lines. So what we're going to do now is jump up, so from here to there to there. So it's two rings up, but it's always on this bit here, because this is where we're going to make this, this lovely pattern. But to my mind, it's easier to put the... Let's just do one whole piece. So then you'll understand why I want to put this in here, that one. So it's not that one, it's the second one up, right? And then what we're going to do, right, from here, we're going to come down like this. So let's just get it right. It's going to look like this. It's like a kind of a, comes in from there and it wraps itself around like that, like a bishop's hat. Let's look again till we're happy with it. Let's look over here. See? It's like a bishop's hat, goes up like that and down like that, up and down. Maybe make it a bit fatter. Apart from anything else, I'm just going to do it over here. I will do one, right, so we get it. i tell you what I do need. Forgive me. I've been getting ready for the telly on Sunday, so I've got everything out of the cupboard here. It looks like a bomb zit in here, like majorly. But I've got some really cool, I was at it quite late last night. I got, you know when you get into it, 
couldn't stop. So I've got loads of demos now for Sunday two to four stamps. Really cool. So if I, I want to kind of, if I want to get this right. I mean, I don't want to repeat it incorrectly. So let's, because I'm doing the, right, go again. So we've got our dot there. This is all in place. Nothing's moving. So I'm just going to come up like that. And that's more like it. I think that's the shape I'm after. Isn't it? Not so like that. Like a bishop's hat. So it's going to go up like that and over. Yeah. And then what we're going to do, so once you've got the bishop's hat in, once let's just get the first bit in and then we can go from there. So we've got the bishop's hat in like that and the bishop's hat there. And then we're going to make another another circle inside and a flower in there. So it's quite a job, this one, isn't it? It is a job. So let's do another one, another circle. Let's just get the, the repeat pattern going and then we'll go and then we'll break it down. I think that's the way to do this. So now we're going to do that. And then we'll do another bishop's hat, like that, like that, it's a little bit fat. I'm not sure I want to go that high. You're not doing this in pen, are you? <laughs> cool, I wish I hadn't been wheeling and dealing until 20 to blinking 10 this morning. Should have spent half an hour getting my eye in before we started. Right, here we go. That's more like it. Okay, let's get this one in. Forgive me. Okay, so we got those two in, right? And then once we got those two in, that's it. So we got those two there. Then we're gonna run this one across there like that. So let's do that as well. Okay, let me just show you it and then you'll, you'll see. I've only got a copy of what I've done for Pete's sake. It's not that hard, is it? Right, so then from here, I'm going to come over like that and like that. Right. I couldn't make more of a whole lick of this if I wanted to. Right, we're going to do a double line. Be all right. Once we've done this, that'll do. Right, so now I've done that bit. Okay, and then on the inside here of the... Let's have a look. Right, we're going to make a... Yeah, I know now. Right, so on the inside here, off the bottom of this, here, we're going to make a petal. So you go up and down like that. And then we're going to make flowers. So it's going to be like that. One, two, three. One, two, three. And that's going to sit in there. So we go again, right? And it's going to go up to the top line and down. And then one, two, one, two. So you've got a flower in there. And if you wanted to, you could take this petal and point, make it pointier. So you could actually go right up because this is better than the one I did before. So you can go right up to there like that. And then like that. Should we make these pointier? They might look better pointier. Let's do one more. Right, next one over. Right, let's do a dot again. We'll get our iron in a minute and then we'll be off and running. So, right, here we go. Bishop's hat. Nice. Yeah. And then, and then what we'll do is from here, let's see, let me do it and then you decide whether you want to go more petally. Petally. It's up to you, isn't it? It's your art, it's your mandala, guys. Yeah, I'm going to stick with the plan. Right, so, I mean, the thing is, it is very busy, right, but it's going to be lovely. So then what we've got, sharpen that pencil grey, right? So I made a bit of a holix of it, but it'd be all right. You won't see that by the time we've gone all the way around. Right, and then this bit here, this is where, but we'll do this afterwards, this mesh bit. We don't have to do that now. What we're going to do first, right, because we know now that this is going to be the mesh. So let's not worry about that. Let's get these hats in first. So the first thing we're going to do is on this second line, every single one, 
you're going to make a, every other one. Let's do this one at a time like this. See, so what you're doing is you're bringing in a little ball, always where this is, bring in a little ball. There you go, settling in. Sorry about that, I just, we've got so much going on at work at the moment and I grabbed half an hour beforehand to make a few, put a few things in place. And what I should have done is not done that. I should have come straight here and just, it's running out of time though, you know. It's all right then. Here we go, it's only a doodle. Right, every other one, and as if by magic, look, the right number. Woohoo! <laughs> so then we'll make our China our Chinaman's hat, our bishop's hat. See now I don't know about you, but I'm I'm all for doing one way first. Look like that. Do you know what I mean? Because I get my I get my my eye in on that particular stroke like that. You know, the other thing about doing it this as well. See, it's much better now. There you go. I find if you do this, you just got to always make sure you go to the dot, you see, to the point that you made. Do you remember when we were doing it uh, on Wednesday and I said the most important thing with this is to go slow. Slow it down. There you go. So you go from there. And do you remember I was saying about staying outside the artwork so that you don't keep smearing your... There you go. That'll do. That one's a bit dodgy again. <laughs> right, and now we're going back the other way. So let's start again there. Here we go. Now. Okay, I've got to get my eye in. Do you know what I mean? There'll be one way that's easier for you, depending on if you're left-handed or right-handed. That'll do. There we are. So we'll come round for the bishop's hat. This way. And then, once we've done that, we can fill them, can't we? So, let's have a look. It's going to look lovely when it's done. Oh. I, I also, I like that it's not... Uh, if I said computer generated, you know what I mean. It's it's real, isn't it? It doesn't mean I don't want it to be lovely and perfect. It just means it's not copy paste, copy paste, copy paste. We're not copying and pasting, are we? That would defeat the object, I think. Right, cup of tea. Okay. Sound good? Ah, it's only it's only twenty past. Good. Right, Chinaman's hat first, and then what we'll do, we'll do the, we'll do the flowers on the inside next, okay? Let's have a look. So these bits here. Now let me see, Would I, can I do it from underneath? I wonder if I could do it from, from underneath. So what I'm going to do is come up to the tip and down again like a petal. Up to the tip and down again. Easy. Yeah, all right, I'm going to get my eye in now. See, the way to get it really, I feel, like, if you repeat the same thing again and again, like this, it makes it really easy. Look good when it's done. But everybody's got their own way of doing this, haven't they? Oh, that was a bit dodge. Yeah, there you go, cut cross, let's do this one, yeah, 
Yeah, nice. Have we got any mandala experts in the building? It's a real popular thing to do at the moment. I think, I think. And it, well, Tina Cox kicked this off for me with, um, with the stamps. No, yeah, with the stamps, absolutely beautiful. Right, so I'm gonna actually, I'm coming in from the, like that. This is gonna be easier for me to do it like that. Do you agree? Yeah. Slowly does it, Gray. Yeah. And then turn the paper. Nice. So we've got loads of different patterns going on here, which you can just mix up, just mix them up, can't you? Right. Calm, eh? It's all good. Can you hear that wind whistling? <laughs> What have you got planned this weekend then? Anything? Are you staying in? I am. Definitely. I've got TV on Sunday, a couple of hours. Well, quite a few hours actually. Two o'clock to four o'clock, that's a two hour session. That's quite strenuous. But I'm looking forward to it. And then uh, six o'clock, Oh yeah, six o'clock, we're launching Linda's second set of It's a Wrap. Oh, they're fantastic. <laughs> Unbelievably beautiful. So for all those parchers out there, brace yourselves. Right, so now we've done that bit. Okay. And then this one. All right, let's have a look. This is coming together nicely, isn't it? Where's that piece of A5 that I slid in so that we could have a look? Oh yeah, that looks cool, doesn't it? Yeah, I like that. See, now that would be nice to stop in there now. That's, I think that's what we have to kind of work out in our heads is, right, so that one would be a good one, wouldn't it? Ideally now, what I do is scan that one. <laughs> so, actually, I'll tell you what I am going to do, though. Joking aside, I'm going to take a photograph of it at that point. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Perfect. Because then that way, in a minute, I'll be able to put together a kind of a a key of all the different patterns. Right, so now, ready for the next one. We need to stretch our necks. Stretch, stretch it back. Could you like that, see? So you have to remember to just chill a bit. Okay, stretch a little bit. This is like a little yoga workout, isn't it? I've got my old damn Edna's on. How is everybody anyway? Are you all right on this Murky Friday morning. Murky Friday morning. It's all right. Be fine. Let's have a look. I'm so focused on this. And that's the point. All the time we're real concentrated on something, we're not freaking out about everything else, are we? It'll be okay. It'll be okay. Just step back. Step back and watch. Just Kate, that's what I'm doing. Just step back, stay safe and watch carefully. Hmm? That's what we're going to do. So what we're going to do here though, is now we're going to put these bits in, you see? So it's a double line going around there, isn't it? Now let's have a look, because it sort of goes a little bit down the, down the Chinaman's hat, a little V there, see, you see the little V? And then it goes like that. So let's have a look what we can do here. 
So you go down there a little bit and then there's an arch. Right, so I'm going to come in from underneath and the, the arch hits the middle line here. Okay, so it goes from there. It go, Let's just get a little sweep going. So it goes like that and like that. We're good at this. Like that. See? So you're going to go like that. I'll do it lightly first. You know, like we did it before. And then we'll come in with it. Should we do? Let's go all the way around first. Come on. Let's get that one in. So we're going to go like that and like that. That'll do. Round we go. Like that. Nice. <sighs> So we're going to go down to there and then down to there, like that. It's amazing when you demystify something, isn't it? When you, that's what I find is when you, when you break something down, this is a perfect example of what we're, we're trying to live by, you know. When you, when you look at something like that, it's quite overwhelming, isn't it? And you look at it and you think, no way. You wouldn't even know where to start, right? But what's fascinating is when you deconstruct something and you, I'm not saying you take it apart, but in a way, you, you break it down into smaller, more manageable pieces, don't you? That's all we're doing here, really. And when you consider, when you stop to think about that, that's pretty much how we've got to handle our life at the moment, our lives, you know, isn't it? You, you know, when you look at the bigger picture, when you look at the whole, the whole, God, I nearly swore then, the whole show, the whole thing, <laughs> shush, Barbara, when you look at the whole thing, it, it, it's overwhelming. You think this isn't happening, this isn't surreal, yeah? This whole COVID pandemic and racism and, oh, it's just going berserk, right? So you look at the whole thing and you just think, can't handle this, this is overwhelming, never be able to handle it, never going to get through it. And then when you actually say, right, okay, Let's just deal with one little area at a time. Let's just hand, let's just take it one step at a time, one day at a time, one thing at a time. You see? And then suddenly, isn't it weird? It's just like this mandala. And, I, you know, you might think I'm waffling now, and I am. But what else are we going to do for an hour? <laughs> but when you do this, like this, you start breaking it down into smaller, manageable, bite-sized pieces. That was a bit dodgy, that one. See, and that's interesting as well. Even if it's a bit dodgy, I don't care. I'm not going to sweat the small stuff. I'm not going to worry about that because when I look at the bigger picture, what does it matter if that one's a little bit on the wonk? Hmm? Not, a, not even a little bit because I'm going to... One, it's in pencil, so when I do the transfer, if I want to, I can change it, can't I? And two, how important is it? Come on, don't sweat the small stuff. But I think it's great to be able to just, this is a real physical example of how when you, when you break things down into smaller, manageable units and take your time and digest it, it's not that hard at all. Just takes a little, no, there's nobody that really. Is it a skill or is it a technique, this? I don't know. There's skills, there's stuff that's skill and there's stuff that's technique. To me, this is technique. This is technique. The skill is keeping a steady hand, I suppose. Right, so now let's have a look. We've done that bit. We've done that line there. So now we're going to go around on the inside. 
And while we're looking at it, let's just check something out. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, one, two, three, one, two, three, three. We'll go with three. But then this one's tighter. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I quite like it tight, don't you? So we can decide. We'll decide how many fit. But first of all, we've got to go around and do the double line. Double line next. We're all right with this. Right, so then we're going to make a, a kind of a gully. That's easy, this one. Just keep your eye on the road ahead on this one. Slowly does it. You'll see when you go more slowly, you've got a lot more control. And again, calm it and all the philosophical notes here. Isn't that the truth? When you slow it down, it's like when you drive a car, you go down a gear, you've got more control. And it's the same with this. If you it's all about hand-eye co coordination, I suppose, isn't it? If you just take it slowly and just keep your eye on the road ahead, I find that's, that's the trick, is to not look at the tip of the pencil, but look at where I want to go. There. This isn't hard. Just, I tell you what, it's calming though, isn't it? Don't you find? Around we go. And what's fascinating as well, I find, with mandalas is what, when you're presented with a huge, great, big doily like this, the overall impact is stunning. And you know, cool, if this was inked, if this was a printed piece, wouldn't you love to get in there and do a little bit of shadow work? You can make it, especially the way I've done this one. It already looks like three-dimensional. It looks like you could get your fingers in under this one. But you look at it and you think, nah, where, where would you start? But when, you, when you've got a wheel like this, this makes it so easy, doesn't it? Do you think this is cheating? I don't. Do you think it's cheating to have a... No, it's not cheating, is it? Hey? Ah, oh, Paul's just written to me. <laughs> Paul's just written to me because he's listening. It's unit F, not unit A. Thanks, Paul. Unit F. I don't even know where I live. <laughs> right, I'll go again. Clarity Stamp Limited, send a card week. Unit F for Furcroft Way, not A. I tell you who's at Unit A. I tell you why I wrote Unit A for a start, is because our old place is Unit A. <laughs> when we were at Gaywood Farm, it was Unit A. Sorry. It's unit F for Furcroft, okay? Unit F, that's easy to remember. Right, ready? So it's unit F, Furcroft Way, Eden Bridge, Kent, TN8, 6EL. And now I know it's correct. And the reason I know this is right is because the way I remember it, TN8 is Eden Bridge anyway. Um, I remember Electric Light Orchestra, ELO. That's how I remember it. Association, eh? Right. Thanks, Paul. <laughs> I'm sure that Stuart's already corrected me as well. <laughs> Tell you what. It's a good job I'm not the postman. And I'd met a rubbish taxi driver. <laughs> In Furcroft Way, this is really cool. On the end of our, our road, they've been there forever. This is our new place. There's a company called Jack. Jacques. It's spelt like French. Jacques. 
and it's they make jigsaw puzzles and games and toys and and outside like croquet lawn croquet uh, drafts anything to do with games outside lawn games a really really big company like they've been so busy during lockdown really like juggernaut job up and down the road which is great isn't it so it means that people have been staying home and playing games so if you send your car to unit a it'll go to rack and if you send your car to unit f it'll come to us <laughs> so I'll pop a postcard in Jacques door and tell him if there's any to bring them our way okay just in case right don't sweat the small stuff that's quite big stuff though to get the address wrong sorry about that crucial well done Paul what would you do without him eh well you'd probably rely on um, Stuart because I bet he picked it up now let's have a look what are we on I've just got to check where I am so I've done all the outside rings. It's bar that one. Look, spot the obvious mistake. So I'll do one more. There you go. So that's that done. Are we okay with that? Stretch, stretch, stretch. Do you know, well, let's just keep going. I was thinking what we could do, we could leave this like as it is, and then over the weekend, so that we can continue together as a team, as a crowd, right? I think that'd be nice if we get together and do it on Monday. But wouldn't it be lovely, depending on how far we get, um, if you fancied, it's only if you fancy doing it, but over the weekend, if you're at a loose end um, and you're thinking, I'd like to make a card or do something creative, make some art, maybe you could, you could use what we've done so far and maybe go in, go the other way, and then make one of those faux gems if you were into that. That would be lovely. So, so you could get another bit of tracing paper and instead of going, do this again on another bit of tracing paper, but instead of going um, outwards, go inwards and make the gem a little bit smaller because this would be a bit extreme. This would be one hell of a gem. Hmm? Be a nice idea. Thinking, just thinking. Right, now we're going to do these lines here, these ones. So, let's have a look on the big cheese. Let's have a look on the big cheese so you can see where we're headed now, where we're headed now. Gosh, okay. So, if we look here, you'll see that these lines, oh, hang on, e, there you go. These lines here, they kind of go with the curve of the bishop's hat. See, that's what we're going to do now. So let me do it and then you do it. Okay, we'll go from the top because you can see better there. And I'm working outside. I wonder how much of this is dirty now from when I did it the first time. It was rough because I was reaching across the mandala all the time. That's not bad. <laughs> that's, so at least I know that works. Right, so what we're going to do here... I'll just see one, two, three, four. Oh, I could go really tight. Maybe if we could get the two one to go in the middle where the cross is. That, uh, one, two, three, four, five. I think four. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right, I'm going all the way around doing that one first. One, two, three, four. And I know that it's right when I hit the second one on that line. One, two, three, four. Cool. One, two, three. All a bit tight. A little bit tight on that one, Grey. Never mind. One, it's because my bishop's hat's a bit dodgy. <laughs> See, there are consequences as well, aren't they? Depending on the way you build it, you've got to kind of go with the flow a little bit. Oh, this is so philosophical. You see? You just have to build in. If yours is a bit pointy, then just go with it, you know? 
you just have to sort of adapt, don't you? Ain't that the truth? What have I done here? One, two, three, four. Just adapt. Adapt your lines. You've got the basic idea. Two, three, four. Feel a bit tight around this side. One, two, three. Don't forget to sharpen your pencil every now and again. Are you relaxed? Are you happy and relaxed? That's all that matters. Just give yourself a break for an hour. There you go. Just switch off. It's like what we were talking about on Wednesday. You know, there's too there's too much. It's it's too much to take in for a lot of us. You know, I can handle you know me, I'm quite robust. I can handle quite a lot. But there is a limit. And so the solution for me is to is to just break it down into bite-sized pieces and and really ramp up the routine you know ramp up the routine because it gives you a sense of structure in a otherwise very st structureless situation doesn't it so ramp up the routine like i I mean, you'd think at 61, I, it's because I work, right? You, many of you will not relate to what I'm going to tell you now, right? But for, for the best part of my adult life, except for, well, no, no, that's not true. When the kids were smaller, I, I was better. I, I, when, when the kids were at home, I used to know what was for tea by lunchtime. If you know what I mean. I did. I used to sort of, I used to plan ahead a little bit better. But s before lockdown, when it was just Dave and me, quite often I'd open the, the door to the kitchen at six o'clock in the evening and I'd go, right, what are we going to have for tea? You know that. N no forethought, no forward planning, because all my energy was getting soaked up at work. And what I'm finding now is, while we're having like while we were having tea last night, I was saying, "What would you like for tea tomorrow night?" I'm that far ahead now, you know, so that I can get out of the freezer, peel the spuds, do whatever needs doing. And what it does is, apart from give us something decent to eat at six o'clock, rather than scratching around looking for for remnants, right? What it does is, it gives me a sense of um, well-being, actually. It's weird because it's not part of my, you know, I'm not like that usually because I'm, I'm usually distracted by work and what have you. But I found it's really helped me to, to get that, even that, which to most of you, I imagine it will be, well, of course, you know what you're going to eat the night, in the evening. Well, not necessarily, you know, if you're, if you're working the way I work, then it doesn't, it, it doesn't. It doesn't enter my head until it's it's a bit late in the day, and then I and then I ring da I'd ring Dave up on the way out and say, "I oh, do so to get some milk. We haven't got any milk. We've run out of milk. You know that kind of j game, you know." So so the, so going back to what I'm saying is right. Let's get now. We're going the other way. We're going to make the the same thing, but going the other way now. So it's just about where to hold it. So here we go, because we're going to use the bishop's hat on this side now to give us the same angle, the same, the same kind of curve, yeah? Let's just get my eye in on this one. Well, oh, and don't forget, you're not going into the outside edge. So I nearly did then. Two, three, four. Nice. It's going to look cool. Right, get the bishop's hat in. Yeah, so what I'm saying is, 
that just that, that routine, you know, I remember my, my and, and, and it, I think it's been, it's just a way of the working woman's world, you know, it just is so different. I remember my German Oma, like when we used to go and spend the summers in Deutschland, right? It was so, it was so, I won't say simple, but because that's, that's not doing it justice. It was so, the routine, it was like set in stone. You knew, and you get a lot of comfort or safety or something from it. At eight o'clock in the morning, it was Frühstück. Breakfast was on the table at eight in the morning. At 12 o'clock lunchtime, when the church bells rang, it didn't matter where you were in the village, when those ding-dongs, when that bell rang at 12, you ran to the house, okay? We were never more than two minutes away in any direction anyway. So 12 o'clock was lunchtime. That was just the way it was, yeah? And then, um, three o'clock was kaffee on kuchen, coffee and cake. And you knew that at three o'clock, if you wanted a bit of cake, you had to be there at three o'clock. And at six o'clock, bang on, when those church bells rang at six o'clock, it was ardent board, evening bread. And that was when you ran again. So it was eight o'clock, 12 o'clock, three o'clock and six o'clock. And it was set in stone. And it, it was always, there was no, there was no deviation from that routine. That was the way it was. Boom, 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 boom. And my Oma, my German grandmother, she always knew what was for pudding because it would always be sitting on a ledge. Um, you know, everybody, it, it was like, it's just the way it was. And I think that there's a lot to be said for that, you know, that, and how times have changed, how times have changed now But I, I actually, I, I, I would like to get back to a little bit more of that. It gives me a real, it makes me calmer. It's obvious really, isn't it? It's obvious. Yeah. So... And, and I guess, you know, turning it round, that's what this COVID-19, what this pandemic has done for me. It's, it's, it's made me stop and reassess and say, well, you know what? I don't want to do, I don't want to be tear assing around like a lunatic seven days a week anymore. One now, I can't. So that's the first thing. Although I'm quite good at just terrorising around here, you know, I can, I can, I can run around like a headless chicken in the shack shack. That's how mad I am. But, but I do believe that taking it back a tad, you know, just taking it back a tad, because in a, in in a, you know after a while the whole thing just becomes unmanageable, doesn't it? You're running around, you don't know what's for tea, you you haven't had any breakfast. Sometimes I'd get home at six in the evening. No, not sometimes, mostly, mostly, I'd get home at six in the evening and realise I hadn't even eaten all day. I hadn't, and then I wonder why I had a stonking headache. I mean, that's no way to be going on, is it? But it's what happens. You know, you just get caught up in the in the working day and you got no you got no structure and before you know it you've got a cracking headache, you feel rubbish, you haven't drunk any water, you haven't eaten, you know, what's that all about? And so turning it round, what the what COVID nineteen has done for me it's it's slowed me down and it's it's asked me to look at um my dad's helped me a lot with this but it's really asked me to to kind of look at the way i i i live my life and i prefer isn't that lovely isn't that lovely crikey that's lovely 
isn't it? Do you know what is really, really, really cool? Is these little dots. Now you would think, if you saw this, that you put them in next, wouldn't you? And yeah, they underpin the whole pattern. Isn't that lovely? You see, now this one would look fantastic, just like that. Right, stop it, stop the, you know, like getting on the, the doodle bus. <laughs> this is, this is the Mandala doodle bus and you can get off at several different stops. And this is a great place to stop, like, and then you, we stopped, funnily enough, it's ironic, but when we stopped on Wednesday, that was a great, like, stop what, stop there. That would be lovely in and of itself. And now this one is just perfect as a, as a kind of a, a beautiful, ornate f frame, isn't it? This would make a beautiful stamp with the aperture. You need the aperture. Hey, what do you think? I like this one a lot. I really do. So when you, when you take, a, take a look at this one, right, let's lay that one over the top of that one, right? So what we've got left to do, we've done to there. So what we, what we are still looking at doing is this one here. So we've got to do this. I'll get my eye in before we, before we, this would, would save this one for Monday because this is quite the challenge, this one, right? So we've done to there. And now we're going to go, we're going to do this bit here, but we'll do it together, right? But I think what I'm going to do, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to make stamps, but they're going to be rings. So this will be a stamp. And then the one from Wednesday, that'll be a ring. And then, and then this one, the outer one will be a ring. So it'll be, it'll be like big rings, but independent of one another. They're going to make really... I'm, I'm going to speak to Lucy about it. We'll do that together for you. Because, yeah, glorious, really. I really like that. I really like that. But what I'd like to be able to do is stamp it and then add colour and shade. I wouldn't want to have to keep drawing this out every time. And that's why we make stamps. <laughs> so let's have a look. It, what is the time? What is the time? It's... Oh, we've still got a little while. Okay, well, let's have a look at this then. How far can we go? Mm, I don't know. You know, like, you know, you want to make, you want to draw it to a logical conclusion. I don't, I think that is a good place to stop. So I would say that it, yeah, I'm not going to go further than this today because this is, this is the next ring. You can see it. There's a definitely separation. This bit doesn't even touch that bit. Look, see? Or, all the way round, that doesn't even touch that. Mm. Right. Well, then, in that case, what am I? What do I want to tell you? Let Let me just remind myself. I'll leave the artwork there so you can see it. Um, we've got the groovy download, and that's going to be uh, coming to you at twelve o'clock. Stuart will tell you if if you want the link. Stuart will tell you where that is. Then just to recap, we said TV shows two to four and then 6 p.m. on Sunday on Hochanda.com. Definitely join in. I think you'll like the, oh, I wonder if I could give you a little, oh yeah, okay. Should I show you a little, show you a little sneak peek. This is nice. I showed Gracie this one yesterday. This is uh, all, my, all my preps all up the back. And I showed Gracie this one yesterday. And she said, shotgun that one. Please can that come to New York? I said, yeah, okie dokie. So I've done my, that was the one I did last night for the blog. Blog is blue. And this is the one, let me show you this one. See if you, are oh, you probably too far away? Let's have a look. Look, she said, I like the bright one. Always look on, I'm gonna leave you with one of those music worms now, you ready? Always look on the bright side of life. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. There you go. You're going to be humming that all weekend now. <laughs> Always look on the bright side. It's nice, isn't it? Look, 
How do you think I did it though? Have you got any ideas? Have you got any ideas? That's a big stamp. If it's a stamp, I'll give you a clue. It's not a stamp. Isn't that pretty? Hmm? So that's what we're going to do on, on Sunday at two o'clock. Yeah, that's what we're going to do on Sunday at two o'clock. And I tell you, that takes five minutes, tops, five minutes. I mean, you could titivate for two hours, but the basics takes about five minutes. So that's what we're going to do on Sunday and loads of other stuff, really nice, cool stuff. I think you'll enjoy it. It's my sort of artwork on Sunday. And then at six o'clock in the evening, we've got Linda's phenomenal, phenomenal. Um, yeah, they are absolutely incredible. It's a wrap part two. So, so that's going to be on, um, on Sunday, two to four and six o'clock. And then, and then the other thing, just to finish on, is our send a card week next week. And so you're going to make a card, if you feel like it, and you're going to send it to unit F. <laughs> um, and then if you have any ideas for hospices or, or charitable organisations that, you know, then let me know and we'll... Depending on how many we get, we'll, we'll box them up and send them with a love note from the Shack Shack, from all of us. Um, and other than that, I wish you a fabulous Friday, a smashing Saturday, and, uh, and a, a super Sunday. Lots of love. Stay safe. Don't watch the news. Doodle. It's much better for you. Better for the soul. Lots of love. And thanks, Stuart, for all your help. Go easy. Bye-bye now.